Good afternoon, Rye Guy here. I've had a couple people message me saying that the ride on their Grizzly or ATV or side-by-side -side is too stiff. What can I do? Can I lower the preload in order to um, make that ride a little bit more softer? Well, <laughs> there's tons of information out there on adjusting shocks. Um, I'll focus on a utility shock because that's what's on my Grizzly 700. It's on most utility ATVs. It's on some sport uti sport utility UTVs. Um, this is a standard, you know, this is a standard utility shock. There's the spring, the preload adjuster, and inside here is internal valving with, um, with either gas or fluid. Now, let's just address that one question. Preload. So what's preload? Preload is... How much, how much of a load that you're putting on, as in you, are putting on this spring in order to maintain what's called either ride height, which is basically from the distance from your skid plate to the ground, or uh, a percentage of what's known as sag. When you lift this ATV up, that spring will fall to a certain level it's gonna because right now the weight of the atv is putting some pressure on that spring and it's it's taking up some of the travel that's in that shock so a shock is designed to have a specific travel number whether it be six inches of travel up to the brand new utvs that are out there up to like 24 26 inches of travel some even 28 inches of travel that's insane that's a huge that's a monster truck shock anyway so, what does preload do? It controls how far, uh, basically how much pressure you're putting on that spring. So, if your ATV is loaded down, this is going to be, I'll try to press down. I'm not, I don't weigh that much. It's going to compress that spring some, and it's going to lose what's known as sag, or it's going to lose preload. So in order to gain that back, what you can do is on these on these utility shocks, this, there's a cam plate typically like this that's just different different click positions. Lift up the ATV all the way, take all the pressure off that shock, and uh, turn that so what it's doing is it's putting more pressure on here, ergo pressing down harder and raising up the ground clearance or the ride height on your ATV. ATVs from factory are meant to have a specific ground clearance uh, or ride height in some cases that, that they refer to it as. If you find it low, you can crank up your preload on your shock in order to regain lost ground clearance or ride height. Changing that shock preload does not necessarily stiffen or soften the ride. What stiffens or softens the ride is the internal valving inside of the shocks. Some cases, they're going to have a piggyback reservoir out here that is more adjustable. Some have preload and some have rebound, compression. There's all kinds of different things to, to, to think about. And if you have one of those shocks, I can't tell you what that is right now because I don't have one of those in, in front of you. I can't tell you what your settings are supposed to be, but read your owner's manual. If your owner's manual doesn't say anything about adjusting the shocks to the specific way that you want them, go on the shock manufacturer's website. Fox has very like uh, very detailed instructions on specific shocks that they have. You know, Walker Evans have the same thing. Shock Therapy has the same thing. If you have aftermarket springs or clutch or uh, excuse me or uh, shock work done, talk to the manufacturers. But anyway. Yeah, so I lost my train of thought. What to do in, in the case of, yeah, you lose some ground clearance, you'll address your preload. And what, again, that preload does not have to do with anything to do with how quick or how slow your shock reacts. That's all internal.